Hello Lulus, welcome back to my channel guys. Today I will be doing a review of the Benjamin Kit by Natalie Blick. Um, some of you guys may have been present for my live stream last night and may have seen me um, in live form, like my immediate reaction. But today I want to, you know, take the time to do a reaction that, <laughs> not a reaction, but a review that is a little bit more without emotion and just you know to give a straightforward review you know some people may give reviews to uh, boost their future sales of kits and some people give reviews because they want views on their channel um there's different reasons why people do reviews i do reviews for one for other artists other collectors to see what the kit looks like and what i feel with my opinion from a collector standpoint and an artist standpoint. And I am one that will put aside my um, ability to sell in the future, just to be honest, because just like last night, it proved my point. You can be honest and still keep your sale. Because even though I had an honest opinion, people was still okay with buying my kids so anyway <laughs> let me get into it and then you'll understand where I'm coming from first of all um, when I purchased this kit I I have purchased several kits from Natalie Blick as far as her scopes and um, I primarily shops from Matt Fearson website sometime occasionally every blue moon I shop from irresistible website for my kits but primarily I shop from Matt Fearson I won't lie um, and the first thing I check when I'm getting ready to buy a kit or pre-order a kit is, is it neutral vinyl or, uh, peach vinyl or German vinyl? That is something that is usually always listed in the description of each kit listing. It is very important to me. Why? Because I am first to admit that I am not the one that's, you know, fluid in German vinyl. Um, now I've learned there is also a such thing as, uh, what is it, uh, Spanish vinyl as well. I never really heard of that. But either way it go, I'm very familiar with what most of our kits are produced from is China, in China. Um, a lot of you guys may not know that, but most of our legit sculpts are produced in China and that vinyl seems to be very oh I got all this light in here and baby look at here I just look across the room and Warren color is looking so sweet I don't know but anyway I'm oh, sorry distracted distracted y'all know I, have to, I can't focus but anyway so I say all this to say that this kit was listed as neutral vinyl and some may consider this to be neutral vinyl like the color is not showing up exact but it's showing up good enough um let me see so it's showing up good enough you know what i mean um but the color of the vinyl is not my issue i'm okay with the color of the vinyl i can work with that you just have to neutralize the vinyl etc etc but my issue is it's not the typical um chinese vinyl that i'm used to and it is the more like German vinyl. Um, so when I get ready to paint this kit, most likely I'm going to have to like do some extra steps in order to get the paint to take. And then there's also, there's this thing where to me, it just doesn't take as nicely as other, um, I'm going to close this window because I think it's a little bit too much light. Or maybe I need to turn it, it up that way. Okay. Um, you know, so this is why I usually stay away from the other vinyls. Um, but I wasn't given that option because it just listed it as neutral vinyl. And I was very upset about that because I ordered more than one Benjamin kit, of course. And so... With that being said, <laughs> I've invested, you know, 400 or so dollars in kits of 
this vinyl that I would normally not have bought had I known that it was not the typical vinyl. Um, at best, I may attempt to paint this one kit for my personal collection, but I don't know if I will keep the rest of the kits because I don't know how well the paint is going to take. This is the second time this has happened to me. Um, the first time I bought, well, this is third time. First time I bought um, the uh, Makai by Gudrun Legler and it was listed as neutral vinyl but it was definitely German vinyl when I got it or a different vinyl than the standard. Um, then the second time I got Jude by Oga Ara, which was listed as neutral vinyl which was not neutral vinyl again was indeed a different um vinyl now i will say that jude vinyl was very very neutral in color and was a really good color but again it i painted so many layers um on that kit when i realized i thought it was painting like a regular kit but then I realized after all the work I had put in that it still wasn't really doing much to it. So I end up having to put a thin matting layer on the kit and for the paint to grip and start to take. And as you know, guys, uh, Rico, which is Jude, is very light. But you, the amount of layers that I've put into that baby is crazy compared to what his skin tone is. Um... But I do that anyway. My light skin babies are still have a lot of layers to them because I do a lot of undertoning and stuff like that just to bring in the realism. But anyway, let's focus on this kit right here. I am going to get into the sculpt itself, but I do want to say that I am very disappointed that now not only are we having to deal with the long waits for the pre-orders but to wait forever and get a kit that you've wanted so badly only to realize that it is not the standard vinyl and was not listed i think that is not fair that is not fair and i'm gonna keep saying that i don't care how nobody feel about it i know there's other artists out here that says oh it's just not a big deal i can paint german vinyl da, 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 da. well you can and that's great for you and i applaud you and i absolutely have a lot of respect for those that can but I want to have the choice of how I spend my money but let's move on the kit itself the head is about the same size as the Maggie head size shape all of that in comparison um, it does take 24 millimeter eyes it has huge eyes um, of course it looks crazy it doesn't have no paint no hair um, I think once it's painted, it will look better. Um, the arms on the kit, when you first pull them out the box, they look a little T-Rexy, as I stated last night, because they they look you know they look short, but it's only because it's bent up and you know the the, the position of the hand. So I think they are still proportioned enough. Um, the kit is said to be 23 inches. Um, the legs are, you know, fat little legs. This is definitely like a fat, chubby, shorter baby. Um, nice little indents and, and fat rolls uh, and everything. Um, kind of fat feet. It's got a lot of, you know, detail going on in the, where the ankle bone is and all that great jazz. Um, this foot I wasn't too happy with, but that's just my personal choice. Um, it looks like the baby's going to grow up and be a ballerina. Um, the way that the foot is kind of in a pointy up word way. And it's kind of like a short, you know, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. But the feet is still a nice size. Um, it will go in a shoe, but I think you will have to definitely put on a size bigger shoe to, to accommodate the the flick of the toe and the um the fatness um but they are good size feet um in my opinion so i think that the proportion of the feet are nice and the hands are definitely a nice size i like the nicer the bigger size hands so it's a you know fat you know more chubby baby hand 
hand. Um, I don't know if maybe putting a baby on a longer body will be better or not but i think the body that it's on that it came with is fine it did not come with a body with zip ties which i'm used to them sending the bodies with zip ties but they came with strings this time i'm not too mad about that because i have zip ties here um the ears on the kit is nice they're very deep um so i know that creates realism for some people but for me it creates be careful that the paint don't settle in that ear and to get that smooth and did right. I'm always thinking about the painting part of it. Um, the nostrils is fairly deep, which is pretty cool. Um, he has more of kind of like a little bit of a piglet flare nose. This baby has a lot of little features of between my family with the big eyes and my children with the pig nose. Um... So yeah, so it's it's a really um, realistic face. I won't say it's the most prettiest face, but it's a realistic face. I think once it's painted, it has a lot of potential to really look like a real person. Um, overall, I think the kit sculpting, of course, is nice. And I do love that about it. Um, it's not a kit that I would be like, oh my God, I just, I'm so in love with it. I just couldn't do without. Um, the lips is going to be nice and fun to paint. It will be able to take a modified pacifier. The um, inside of the mouth is, is fairly deep, which is nice because you won't have to really worry about a magnet. I like the, you know, the, the foundation of the chin is, you know, very defined and not, you know just all smushed in the face like i said is very defined the profile side profile of the baby is typically blit the forehead kind of protrudes out um a little bit so it's the typical blick um head you know shape and everything and you know the little cheekbones and stuff nice head size and head shape um so with the sculpt in itself nail beds are nice um, this is not my favorite hand, but it's cute enough. She's like, wait a minute, you know, holding up that finger. Excuse me, I gotta go to the bathroom. Um, anyway, but her nail beds are nice on both her hands and her feet, or his feet, whatever you plan to have it. This kit, this particular one is kit number 531 out of 999, and so... COA, which is nice. Um, so yeah, it's just, you know, I don't know how I feel about the reborn, the reborns in this moment right now, to be honest. Um, I know this is a review of the kit, but I'm going to just say this really quick. There's a lot of fear going on and I don't want to operate in fear, but you know, we got the whole uh genesis paints and um matting and thinner and stuff debacle where that stuff is becoming obsolete and then we got now we got kits that we're just getting kits that don't not really saying what kind of vinyl it is so we're just like you better be well diverse in all of it because you're not gonna know what you're getting at this point um i would love for to see prototype artists when they get the sample kits let us know what type of vinyl it is for the people that's going to paint them um i would love for people to be a little bit more transparent you know just in the the sculpt itself um this baby is nowhere near a toddler so those of you that are planning on giving it you know 18 inch hair that's on you because you're probably going to do it anyway because I've seen preemies with that much hair. So, you know, if you can put a 9 inch with ponytails, I guess she can have them too. But definitely if your hopes for this baby was to be a toddler, it is definitely not that. Um, in my opinion, even Maggie was closer to being a toddler than this baby. This is a little baby. In my, well, not little, but fat and just, I don't know. The faces, 
you know, more mature, but the body size, the, I, you know, I, I don't know, what is my measuring thing? I don't have my measuring thing with me because I'm even a little, like, I guess it's 23 inches with the legs bent. I mean, if the legs were straightened, because I don't know if it would be 23 inches bent because it just, I don't know, I guess it is. But, um, so yeah, so you can definitely tell it's not the normal, the normal kits normally have like numbers on the back of the, uh, the head. Let me see if it'll focus in. So all it has is Benjamin and Natalie Blake right there. So it is not the typical yeah see that's that's what it looks like so it's not the typical kit that we normally you know the vinyl that we normally do is thick it's a heavier vinyl it is heavy it is a heavy vinyl um just not my choice um so i'm disappointed overall to be honest and um i slept on it i'm still disappointed um i have calmed down a little bit and said maybe i'll challenge myself to at least try to paint one since i already had got eyes and already wanted to paint it so i will challenge myself to paint at least one of the kids but my other kids may be up for sale um I don't know how I'm going to do that because so many people, look at this little baby over here. But anyway, I don't know how I'm going to do that with so many people have been asking me before I even got my kits because they knew I was getting multiple kits. They were asking me like what, like if they could buy the kits. So somebody going to be mad either way it go on, you know, who I sell the kits to if I sell them. Um, but I just, I almost didn't want to paint any, to be honest. And I'm still on the fence with it, but I might, you know, I think I will. Um, only because, to be honest, the only thing I kind of, I really like on this baby is the, um, the face. Um, and even with the face, it's not one that I'm like totally in love with. I think when I see it painted, I will feel differently, but um, I know some people are going to knock it out the park. There's going to be some of these artists that's going to make this baby look extremely beautiful. It would help if I had the eyes straight, but um, for me, this is just not the kit that I would be like, oh my God, I got to have it. And I don't care. I will say it. Um, I know that, you know... You know, people may feel some type of way about it, but this is just my personal opinion. Um, it's just not my favorite kit. And that is that. And I will paint it and for my personal collection. So I'm not work worried about if it'll sell later down the road because I made that comment. Um, but, and as far as the kit goes, if I decide to sell the kit, somebody will always like something that I don't like. So I'm not worrying about it. I'm here to give my honest opinion. And my honest opinion is that this kit is average at best for me. And that is it. Signing off, yours truly. If you got a problem, like I said last night, kiss my grits. <laughs> no, wait a minute, that didn't come across right. Wait a minute. If you got a problem, then kiss my grits. <laughs> Okay, I'm just playing. Uh, if if you don't agree, that's okay. But it's just not my favorite. I think it will look good and better. I'll feel different after it's painted. But for now, it's not my thing. And also, I really am going to write McPherson today and ask them, why aren't they disclosing the type of vinyl it is? If it's not the standard vinyl, they need to say that. That is all. I rest my case. <laughs>